Ian Murray, re-elected as Labour MP for Edinburgh South, is now the party's only MP north of the border. Welcome, Ian Murray. Good morning. Is what I said just now right, that if Labour cannot revive in Scotland, Labour will probably be unable ever again to form a government in Westminster? Well, I think it's one of the rules of British politics that a Labour government at UK level has to run through Scotland. But after the disaster of the election on the 12th of December, the Labour Party has to reconnect with all the nations and regions of the UK and all those seats that we lost that we have mm. held for uh, generations. And that's one of the reasons I'm standing for deputy leader of the UK Party, because mm. it sends out a strong message, not just to Scotland, that Scotland's important to the UK Labour Party, but all the nations yes. and regions are important to so. the UK Labour Party. But one of the key things that I think we need to examine here is that what has actually happened and what is clear on big constitutional in, uh, issues like independence and indeed what we're seeing with Brexit is if the Labour Party doesn't stand by its values and stick by its principles and take a side, then standing mm. in the middle of the road so. means you get hit by both sides. So we have to be principled. We're principally against independence, but let's make the positive case for the United Kingdom. Let's make the case of why independence is bad, and let's try and say to the public, not just in Scotland, but across the United Kingdom, that our UK actually matters. So pro for progressive-minded Scots, or Scots on the centre, left at least, who are looking and scratching their heads at Boris Johnson's government, how do you make the case for the United Kingdom? Well, that's exactly what I'm standing for, Deputy Leader, and I've been making the case to the Labour Party membership and in the hustings yesterday that it's incredibly important to look at what's happened in Scotland. And the legacy that has been left of an 80-seat Conservative majority means that we have to mm. take the path of a credible alternative Labour government and not a party of opposition. If Scots can see that we can get into a position of delivering a UK Labour government with progressive values and Labour Party values, which are still the values of Scotland, mm. incidentally, then they will vote for that party because they know that there's a chance of Labour getting into power. I think one of the lessons of the 2019 general election, not just in Scotland but across the rest of the UK, is the public didn't see the Labour Party as being credible. Now we have to talk to those communities again and that's one of the major planks of my proposals to be Deputy Leader of the Party. Well in 1997 the Labour Government then decided to take devolution to its next step, which is why we ended up with the Welsh Assembly, the Scottish Parliament and devolution across mm. uh, England. But I think we need to be really sensible and serious about that now. So I want to set up the Labour Party campaign for Britain's future, which will look at not just galvanising the public towards how they are governed, both at national and regional level in England, as well as everywhere else, but also what our future relationship is with, with Europe. And that's an incredibly important so task for the Labour movement. Is that a yes or a no on the possibility for federal Britain? Well, I think it's up to the public to decide, but I think it's up to the Labour Party as an opposition to take that forward. So and if we end up with a federal the... Britain, then we end up with a federal Britain. But the key task would for this year... Would you put that year, to a referendum? Well, that's a topic that would have to come. Public that, 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 that would yeah. have to be a topic that comes later. But the work has to be done first. And as deputy leader of the Labour Party, I want to do that work, not just about how all the nations and regions of the UK govern themselves in the future in a post-Brexit Britain, but where the Labour Party sits with a relationship mm. with Europe in terms of jobs and security, and yes. indeed, if required. Uh, going back into the European Union as a member of the European Union. Do you think when it comes to the party there should be a, f a federal split, in other words a, an independent or semi-independent Scottish Labour Party, a sister party of the Labour Party in England but not the same party? Well absolutely no. I think we're a UK party and I think we have to act as a UK party but what I would do is make sure that the parties have all the autonomy they require. The Scottish Labour Party actually has more autonomy than any other part of the UK Labour Party but it isn't used. Let's use that autonomy and that takes away any issues around becoming a separate party but the regional offices in England and the Welsh Assembly General Secretaries and the Scottish General Secretary need the powers and the ability to make those decisions locally because never again should we go into a general election but it's run by London and others around the country are screaming out for resources and targeting uh, when, where they're requiring it. We shouldn't okay. be having seats Let's lost by several hundred when there's thousands of activists and seats that we'll never win.